Shana Tova. 5780 was a little different to say the least. We are constantly reminded of how our lives have changed since the year began. We as a community and as a nation have been resigned to isolating ourselves from those we love most, changing how we interact with the world around us, and doing our best to confront challenges unlike we have ever seen before. The Jewish New Year grants us the opportunity to look back at the year that has been, reflect on our growth, and look forward to the coming year and all it has to offer. Still, as much of our world continues to shift, there are some things that never change. We continue to reach out to members of our community as best we can, given the circumstances, making sure they are all staying healthy and safe. We are grateful for our loved ones and our Temple Bethel family who have been checking on us and keeping us engaged from a safe distance. With the guidance of our administrator, Sarah Gottlieb, we created a special task force to plan the use of the building for education, worship, and other programs while addressing the well-being of our members, rabbi, and staff. We are excited to welcome our new director of education, Dan Berman, who hit the ground running as soon as his contract was signed. Rabbi Torup, Barbara Mazer Gross, Joyce Liu, the Religious Life Committee, and many others have spent countless hours over the summer reimagining the high holidays, and their enthusiasm is contagious. Looking forward into 5781, we expect additional changes in our congregation. Is there ever a dull moment in our Jewish lives? And just like in every other area of life, we experience significant changes. It can be difficult at first. This year, we enter another chapter in the long life of our congregation. As Rabbi Torup retires in July 2021, we will take the time to honor his contribution to our temple and to joyfully celebrate these 21 years of his leadership. Rabbi Torup has touched so many lives for the past two decades, and it is so noteworthy that we want to continue down the path he has led us going into the future as he takes on his new role as Rabbi Emeritus. We know that this year's high holiday services are nothing like we have ever done before, but our clergy and staff teams remain committed to producing meaningful, liturgical, musical, and intellectual content, some new and some reassuringly familiar that will comfort and inspire you. We thank you in advance for your patience and understanding as we join together for the high holidays with our most heartfelt prayers and hope and unity from our family to yours, wishing you a happy, healthy new year. Shana Tova. Shana Tova to you all. Well, you don't need me up here to tell you what kind of year it's been, but y'all know I'll try. So how are we going to look back on this last year? How many of us are going to give it a complete thumbs down, a one on the scale of one to 10? 2020, 5780, threw us a proverbial curveball. It gave us challenges down to our baselines of functioning. Don't leave the house. House. Don't leave the house without a mask. Don't go to work. Don't go to school. Don't make any mistake in judgment that might jeopardize you, your family, your kids, your parents, your friends. Lots of don'ts. Then came the do's. Do think of everything. Consider all the ramifications. Educate your kids. Do your jobs. Do both of those at the same time. Be the core of strength for those around you when you're struggling. Don't be depressed. Don't be anxious, even though we're all on new ground. No playbook, no rules, no precedence. All new turf. Create a new rhythm for yourself. Then create one for your family. And for us here at Temple, your lay leaders and your professional leaders, 
we are all creating a new rhythm for you. We realize that learning, praying, grieving, organizing, pursuing social justice, coming together online, it all presents new challenges. Most of these challenges painful in as much as we aren't doing any of this together personally. We are thankful for your adaptability and your willingness, but mostly we're grateful for your patience and your faith in us. I've thought a lot about this year. We plan, God laughs, a beloved Yiddish proverb that we can all embrace. This year showed us the fallacy and the importance of planning. What good did your planning do? Were you able to carry those plans out? Sometimes I think our plans are false comfort for us in a life that throws us craziness, and we deal with it. We plan, and then we adjust our plans to the future that lands in our laps. So the planning is good, but what's necessary is our flexibility and a solid sense of humor. And we can gain inspiration from others. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, then change your attitude. Maya Angelou. Good words to resource now. The quote has rescued me any number of times. I have friends that I care deeply about who have worked so diligently to make change, but not necessarily adapting their attitudes. Changing your attitude isn't easy. I shall pass this way but once. Any good that I can do or any kindness that I can show to any human being, let me do it now," wrote the Quaker missionary Etienne de Grelais. It's so very easy to get wrapped up in our own mishigas that we don't see others, we don't see their pain, we don't see their isolation. Take a few extra moments to look around you. Take a deep breath and realize you aren't alone. Many times the lifeline that you throw someone is just the one you were actually casting for yourself. You just come to it differently. Step outside of yourself. Life isn't about waiting for the rain to stop. It's about learning to dance in the rain. Vivian Green. When I was a younger version of myself, I kept waiting for things to get better, for the horizon to clear. My beloved sister would buy something, and when I'd visit her next, I'd find the item in her closet still with the tags. When I asked her, what's up? Her response was that she was waiting to go through a drawer, clean a closet, work in the garage, and that item would be her reward. Life is short dance in the rain. Fred Rogers, often when you think you're at the end of something, you're at the beginning of something else. It speaks to this time as the start of a new era without any negative connotation. Don't be so close-minded that you fail to see the potential of what's going on around us, this reset we're going through. Stay open to the possibilities. Don't get pigeonholed in the negative. Singer Sage John Lennon captures endurance, perspective, and hope that we need to pitch us forward into 5781. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Our next years at Temple Bethel are full of hope, exploding with potential. Have faith in your lay leaders. They love this temple as much as you love it. They want it to flourish in this, our next chapter. Remember, we all come to things differently, in different ways. Step back when you disagree and try to see and understand the other plan, the other perspective. And remember, if plan A doesn't work, the alphabet has 25 more letters, 204 if you're in Japan. May you all be inscribed in the book of life, 
Lishana Tova, the Gamar Hatima Tova. <laughs>